Fuck. Okay, last time. Hello and welcome back. I'm Shanae Tanwar and you're watching the Yuba Cap, the no cap recap of this week at the Yuba Sea. We've arrived at the final Yuba Cap of this year and we're asking ourselves, where did the time go? So one last time, here's our final recap of everything you might have missed this week at the UBC. In news, UBC community members celebrated the Transgender Day of Visibility on March 31st. It was a day for the trans community to celebrate the milestones achieved on campus and advocate for more work that's there to do. Writer Ashley McDonald has more on what the day means for the trans community. In culture, a new film by UBC alum Jason Carman, Golden Delicious, explores the desire felt by all teenagers to be happy. The film follows Asian-Canadian teenager Jake and his struggles with his sexuality, basketball, and his commitment to his loved ones. Writer Solana Pasquale interviews the director to learn more about the inspiration for making this film. In science, what is neuroethics? If you've ever wondered about the ethics of neuroscience, check out Study State's explainer, Neuroethics 101. In features, get to know your new AMS president-elect, Esme Decker, aka Remy the Rat. In this edition of Our Campus, news editor Nathan Bawan chats with Esme about their campaign, community values, and plans for the presidency. Finally, in opinion, we all know how awful the rental situation in Vancouver is. In a letter to the UBC, Raga Fatak details the risks of homelessness for international students because of unaffordable housing and asks UBC to do better to accommodate its students. And that's everything you may have missed this week at the UBC. Be sure to check out the links in the description to read all the articles and stay tuned for our final year in review print issue next week. That's a goodbye from us at the Yuba Cap this year. Until next time, bye.